In this video, you will learn why f-strings can format your variables with certain specifications. You will also learn how to create a class that renders itself differently based on the format specs that are passed in the f-string placeholder. You already know that f-strings can be used to format variables. Here you see the number 3.5 rendered as 3.5 with 4 decimals. Here an f-string is used to center text. In both examples a colon was used followed by some formatting specifications. You will learn how to create a class that renders differently based on format specs. Let's go! Here is a password class. It stores a password value. I create a password object and print it. Python prints the object identity. I implement dunder string that returns the password value. This time we see the password. Now I print the object with an f string. The f string has a placeholder with object p. Python knows the class that belongs to p. It is the password class. Python now searches for a method called dunderformat in the class. The method does not exist. Python falls back on dunder string. That is why the output was able to show the password. Now I type a second f string. Notice the colon asterisk. We now indicate that the password should show asterisks instead of the plain password. But Python gives us an error. When using f string formatting, the object needs to implement dunder format. Let's inspect format spec. The first time format spec is empty. The second time its value is an asterisk. Now let's use the format spec. That works. And this is how you can create string formatters in a custom class that work with f-strings. I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight how f-strings call dunder format and pass format specs that you can use to change the rendering of your objects. See you in the future.